I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, day Negri. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am doing awesome, and it is uh, a wonderful day in Florida. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so the weather is pretty similar, right, to that of the Caribbean? Yeah, I would imagine. It's was like 85 today. Wow, that's good, that's good. I've had some conversations with the 40s and the 50s in Fahrenheit, so yeah, you're definitely shining the light in the south, Yeah, right? huh. yeah. 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 Well, Dave, do tell me, which of your talents is responsible for us meeting? Um, I have my own podcast, um, Contractor's Secret Weapon. And uh, what we do is we help uh, contractors uh, learn in the difference between good marketing and bad advertising. And uh, we've been doing that for about four years now. Wow. Congratulations, Dave. Yeah. Wow. And we just went to daily last week. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, wow. I hope you have the support for that, right? That's <laughs> easy. <laughs> That's the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, that is a different kettle of fish. Well, it's good, yeah. though. I'm sure you'll move from strength to strength. Um, I was definitely listening to the podcast. It's one of the joys I have, right? And on this quest where... I, yeah. get to, I get to listen to uh, the caviar of, if you would, of podcast. Um, your podcast is amazing, is absolutely amazing. Um, I think the principles you teach are very applicable across the border, right? It's it's not just something that is applicable to the con- the contractor, right? No, it's that. not. It's it is. Every business uh, runs through the same types of challenges. Yeah. You know, and uh, I have a, another business with my wife. We have a uh, a title company and uh, find the same things in, in that type of business as you do in the construction business. And and it's basically just learning how to deal with people and how to get them to call you. Yeah. There was something you recommended. I think I put it on my reminder, which was contractor secret weapon forward slash. Was it Ruby or, or something? It was something I listened to. It was something you could pick up. And I think it is it that it pins who are your customers? Oh, where did I put that? Oh, is that you the, um, I don't know. There's, I've got, like, I've got almost 200, so. <laughs> no, this <laughs> is the, this is like the most recent podcast. One of the most recent ones? Yeah, um, so it's Radius Bomb. Yeah. Radius oh, yeah, Bomb. Radius Bomb. Oh, yeah, one of our sponsors. Yeah. It is probably one of the best. Uh, relationship uh, marketing uh, pieces of software that I've ever come across. It is just uh, for every, I mean, it's not just for contractors. I mean, every every business uh, can use it. And um, I'll give you uh, Josh's uh, stuff later. You can connect with him. Yeah, it's, it sounded really good. So again. Yeah, yeah. it's really. Yeah. I'll use it in my own business. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely check that out. Um, so who did you learn the skill from? The skill of um, of understanding the truth in business, like true profitability, truth. Well, you know, it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I was in the painting business uh, for years. And then, you know, the housing market in the United States in around 2005 or so uh, was really hot. And so I set aside the the uh, painting business and and worked in the uh, buying houses. And in that time, we had bought like 55 houses and we couldn't go knocking on doors. And so we had to, you know, I learned from some of the best uh, marketing uh, people out there on how to get people to call you. And that's what we ended up doing was getting people to call us to buy their houses. And then when the market crashed, course, I had to go eat again. So we went back and uh, ramped up my painting business and was 2008 and the economy really stunk and people go, why are you doing this? Why are you going back into business? I said, well, I said, if we can get people to come to us, uh, then I can get customers to come to me. Mm-hmm. It's just marketing and learning how to, we learn how to do that. It's just changing from one business to another and just writing different content and getting people to call you. And that's really is the whole uh, 
thing about uh, you know direct response marketing. And the nice part about it now is that because of the internet and you've got all these other social media platforms, uh, direct response marketing is not dead. It is actually more alive because you can actually find out faster uh, through Facebook or even uh, Google Pay Per Click how well your marketing piece is going to work, and then you can send it out hmm. in, into the marketplace. Hmm. Uh, you 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 are definitely delivering definitely delivering value. Uh, I look forward to your everyday podcast. Um, I can well imagine the value you'll bring there. Please do tell me, Dave, one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years. Consistently? <laughs> oh wow! Um, I consistently listen to podcasts on a continual basis. I probably read two or three books at a time just so that I can. Uh, learn more and just be ahead of the game so that I can help, you know, other contractors and other business people. Mm. Uh, but we've been really consistent with the podcast. We've never missed a, a week mm. in 180 episodes. How does that make you feel? Awesome. It should be, right? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, there were lots of times I'm going, oh, man, I don't want to do this today, you know. But, uh, but you know, you have, like, like you do, you have uh, people that uh, – an audience that you know has grown to depend on you for you know information then it's like i'd be letting them down yeah 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 suggest so to someone out there who's listening why why they should apply consistency to their craft if you would well the i think the easiest way to explain it is i like word pictures and uh, have you ever uh, everyone has got that uh, picture in their mind when they go to to you know ever try to push a car and it's so hard doing it. Uh, you can push it and you can push it. And then after a while, you can just get it rolling with one hand. And that's what consistency is. It's when you stop, you got to start pushing that car with all your might and all your being to get it back on track so you can push it again with mm. one hand. Mm. I love that. Yeah, there's one point that I started to really decrease, but I never completely stopped podcasting because of yeah. what you're speaking about there, because the momentum, the momentum is so critical, so, so critical. Amazing audience, we are live with Dave Negri right now. Please do check him out. His podcast, right? His podcast is fascinating. It's the construct, sorry, Contractor's Secret Weapon podcast. Dave, let's switch gears for a moment and let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Dave, what is your earliest childhood memory? Oh, my early? I don't You know, the first thing that popped into my mind when you said that is when uh, I was a little kid and I uh, came home from school and my parents had bought me a puppy, which is kind of weird. You know, I never really thought about that before, but that was a pretty cool thing. Hmm. Did you just uh, say how old you were? Did you say how old you were? I was young. Yeah. I was in grade school. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know what age? Probably. I'm gonna say third or fourth grade, maybe. Wow. Why do you think this memory is so clear? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It must have been a real happy thought. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fascinating. So, so you came home. Is it that you wanted this puppy? No, is this a puppy. You? No, it was just like a surprise. Wow, wow. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah, I love the idea, and this is the, the advantage I have here is because I listen to the podcast, right? Yeah. So I, I love the idea of when you said that you do not give discounts to your new customers. You give discounts to your customers that are already that you're already serving, right? Right. Because they are already bringing in the cash, right? They're bringing the value. The people that are coming right. in, you're not sure, right? What is going to happen there? And it's fascinating to see, like I love that principle, first of all. But secondly, it's fascinating to see your parents delivering value to you because of your consistency at that point in time being their son for whatever reason, right? Sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's like they, they taught you a sales principle before you even realized absolutely hmm if we fast forward to when you were 12 what was your favorite song oh my 12 you know i was back then i don't know but i know the beatles were probably popular so yeah. it would probably in one of their songs but i don't re i don't quite remember 
All right. on that one. It's cool. It's cool. All right. Well, my friend, we have arrived at our destination. But before awesome. we, before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to go quickly here. Dave, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Um, no. Well, actually, I'm, I am working, uh, mentoring a couple of guys in different areas. So, yes. Mm. Are you married? I am. 41 years. Wow. Yeah, 41 years. Yeah. Wow. Say her name. Uh, Valerie. There we go. Hi, Valerie. Yeah. Congratulations. Wow. Do you have children? I have children. Two children, two daughters. Uh, one is married, uh, and she has six children. Wow. You're the grandfather of six children. I am. <laughs> there we go. And it is fun. Yeah, you. they get to go back home, right? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody says that, but the, the real truth of the whole matter is that as growing up as a parent, you have so many things on your mind. You know, I have to provide. Yeah. I have to do this. I have to do that. But when they're your grandchildren, you can let the, their parents worry about that. And then you can sit back and enjoy them and watch them. And uh, they're better than watching TV because mm. they, they're just so much fun. Love it. Love it. Dave, do you believe in God? Absolutely. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? Yeah, but it's usually like 11 o'clock at night. Before okay. I go to sleep, I'll just unwind a little. Mm. And what about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, less. Mm. Less. Dave, after having a thousand and one conversations in three months in 2016, I came up with a workbook. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It is funny. You know, sometimes I make the joke, Dave. I said I needed to, um, to iron to to get butt surgery, <laughs> 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 but I came up with a workbook, and the name of the workbook is called Yours, and it stands for your own unique real self. Connected to that is your own unique real statement. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who Dave Negri is, what would you say that is? My own unique statement? Wow. I am uh, a very blessed man. Um, I am a very wealthy man, which has nothing to do with income, but uh, the legacy that, that which I hold, are, which I choose to pass on. I am a believer uh, that... Uh, God has put me here for a purpose, and I choose to continue to refine and look for that purpose mm. um, so that not only I can be better to glorify him, but to help others also mm. in the same quest. I think that's all I'm going for right now. Yeah, you did well. You did well. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Negri, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I uh, just, uh, you know, continue to uh, to grow and uh, never give up on your dreams. Hmm. Totally agree with that. Dave Negri, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you so much. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.